and Jay Mix exclusive. Hello all, it's Jay Mix here, and I'd like to welcome all my YouTube subs and viewers to my latest installment of my exclusive interview with Thug Life founder and brother of Tupac Shakur, Mr. Mo Prem Shakur. So without any further ado, here's part two with Mo Prem. Now Mo Prem, Stretch was also involved in the early days of Thug Life. Can you tell us about Tupac and Stretch's relationship and the falling out between the two? Uh, uh, rest in peace, Big Stretch. Big Stretch was a part of our clique, absolutely. Um, Pac and Stretch are best friends. Um, when the robbery attempt happened in New York, um, Pac felt like uh, uh, um, Stretch should have done more to, to help in the situation, long story short. He felt really betrayed by Stretch not doing what he expected of him in that situation. Us being from the streets, you know, there was conversations about those things. And, uh, you know, Stretch, um, Stretch didn't follow through, which caused Pac to almost be killed. And, you know, he took it personal. Now, Mo Prem, you're all over the Thug Life album. You're even listed as an executive producer. Did you do any ghostwriting on that project? Situate, um, it went like this. At the time, we were starting to get momentum, Pac and I, his career, us together, whatever. So he was doing the film Above the Rim at the time. At the same time, we had he had finally secured a deal for us for Thug Life, so the Thug Life album had to be recorded. The songs had to be put together. Had the artists had to get to the studio. Everything had to happen without Pac being there. So he put that in my hands. He's like, "Yo, Mo, you know, make sure this get done. We need whoopie whoopie whoop. I'm gonna be in New York working on the film, and you know, I." Yeah, I kind of executive produced A R A and R the, the album, and you know, because our thing was to get the work. We were we looked at it as a hustle, you know, get as much work as possible, get it in. You know, we we worked hard, so that's what, that's how it went down. Now, Cato played a role in Thug Life, and we hear Tupac mentioning Cato in many many songs. Can you tell us a little bit about Cato the person? And what happened to Cato and how he died? And Cato, rest in peace, big Cato. Um, <clears throat> when we, when Pac and I, when Pac started doing films, when he had multiple films to do lined up, we, we moved to Los Angeles. When we moved to Los Angeles, we connected with people that we had, um, you know, been, been put in contact with close friends and allies of the family. Um, my man, Big Surge, and Surge was was best friends with Big Psych. Big Psych was best friends with Big Cato. And you know, you know, in the street, in the hood, there's a lot of lovable characters, and Cato was one of them. And Pop fell in love with him, and they got to hang out. They got close. A little hip hop trivia. Um, in the video, uh, Gotta Get Mine with MC Breed and Pac, uh, it's Psych, Pac, and Cato in that video. That's like one of the only videos he appeared in, got to appear in before he was murdered by a 14-year-old kid for a lowrider. And that was what really sprung Thug Life into, you know, the, the, the main stage because we were all really affected by that loss so that's how that went down Mo Prem on the Thug Life album we first as fans really got to see Johnny J featured what was it like to work with Johnny J and how was your relationship with him 
Oh, Johnny J, rest in peace, Johnny J. Um, John, Johnny J's good, good friend of mine. He was a unique character. <laughs> he was very funny. He was very funny. He was high, strong, and very talented. Moved fast, and um, but he always was, was warm. He would always make you feel comfortable. We, we. The whole crew would spend a lot of time with Johnny at Johnny's house and with his family because we were always working together so much. And um, Johnny and his wife, Cap, and, and their two kids, beautiful family, you know, and they gave us a taste of home when we wasn't home. And, um, you know, love Johnny for that. But Johnny uh, was a workaholic, he, so he could hang with us because we were all workaholics. Pop was a workaholic. We were in line with Pac, and Johnny fell right in. And he, you know, outside of me, he was like the only other person from the crew who did a big record, who's, who had done a big record. You know, Johnny J produced Candyman, that Candyman song back in the early 90s. So, yeah, we, we had that in common. Oh, yeah, you're talking about knocking the boots, right? Yep, yep, knocking the boots. Once again, this is J-Mix here, and I want to let all my YouTube subs and viewers know that I got much more to come with Mo Prime and many more surprise interviews, so keep it locked right here, and I'll catch everybody on the next upload. One love, everybody. A J-Mix exclusive. What up, what's up?